think you should be So we go to the first one, which is uh, ultimate levels. Are now at six, twelve, and eighteen. Um, okay, this this doesn't really say much because we have to read into the rework XP, which is next. Mm. You actually take less EXP to level up compared to last time, so I guess it's still about balanced. So, the, but it means that like let oh yeah let. XP required to reach 18 is the same as 16, so that's yeah. not really much of a big change, right? Yeah, it doesn't really change much. So, heroes no longer have the attribute bonus ability, so you don't really get to add your stats anymore, which is good, I think, because there are some fuckers who just want to go to the jungle, and then they'll learn one skill, <laughs> and then they max stats all the way. Well, rip burning anti-mitch. <laughs> okay, heroes now have 4 talents that can be leveled at... 10, 15, 20, 25, each level gives you two bonuses to choose between each other's own unit. Okay, so we'll go through that list later. XP rework, uh, everything's about the same, except 25 is the same as previous level 23. So this this kind of forces um, people to stop farming for 35 minutes and start fighting a lot earlier because you get a lot more EXP that way. Oh, thank god. Yeah, and level 25, you know, the talent trees are pretty OP for some people. Smooth yeah. out XP progression from level 8 to 13 to be always incrementing. Previously it was 800. Uh, this is very technical, I have no idea what the fuck is going on. XP table updated to reflect changes. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I see. So, yeah, that, that's okay. It just basically shows that uh, the amount of XP it takes to level up is a lot less. Oh. Updated respawn timetable. Ultimate levels, roughly the same respawn time now as before. Uh, so you respawn faster, it seems, actually. But when it goes to level 25, when you hit level 25, it's still the same respawn time as the previous um, patch. If you hover to view the table. Hmm, isn't there something about, okay, maybe, no, I'll just touch on that later, wait, see, I remember something about respawning or something. Alright, hero kill bo gold bounty from this to this, so it is less actually now. Previously it was level times 9.9, .9, but now it's level times 8, so I guess that kind of um, plays around a bit of combat goal. Previously, if you killed like a, a Meepo that hit level 25 really early in the game with a godlike spree, you can get like 2.5k goals. Uh, so this doesn't actually like discourage people from like killing, yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah. It's just just a little change. Yep. So like nothing the so-called comeback mechanic. Uh. Yeah. I think I think that's okay. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah. Death cost reworked. All is thirty times hero level, and new was is hundred plus network divided by fifty. Crap. Uh yeah actually actually. <laughs> This is not too bad for supports. Oh, yeah. Yeah, That's actually, true. this really helps supports quite a bit because uh, your supports aren't going to have high net worth anyway. Yep. So it's 100 plus net worth divided by 50. I think this is this helps supports, lah, but this kind of discourages. Uh, this kind of encourages the carries and core players to, to play a lot more safer. Mm. Yeah, they, they won't go around with like, you know, I farm 10k in, in 15 minutes and then uh, if I die now, I'm gonna lose a lot. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it really encourages people to actually, like, you know, not go and buy like half an item, that kind of thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. And and for me, I, I always like to hold a lot of gold for some yeah, reason. Yeah, but, so. but I mean, that's that's how it should be. Mm -hmm. you, like, you never want to like actually buy half the item and like give opponent a chance to like guess what you're going for. Yeah. So. Then with yeah. this. Yeah. You either have to play really safely if you're going to buy for the full item, or you have to just start buying all the small items. I, I think this yeah. actually plays around with uh, people who, who realize this change will actually adjust their builds on cores quite a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I feel like S&Y is going to become a more popular item now because it's a, you know the components are a lot cheaper, you don't have to hold so much gold. Uh, true. Okay. But I guess S&Y has always been uh, kind of like a, you know, like a go-to carry item if you don't really know what to get. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it gives you all around good stats, strength, agility, movement speed. Yeah, speed. yeah, it's a pretty good item as well. Okay, hero kill XP adjusted hero kill XP table starts to ramp up at level six instead of levels eight. Level eight instead of level six. 
Okay, so... Well, it doesn't look like a really... It doesn't look like a very huge change, though. Nah, it doesn't look like a huge change. But overall, if you see at level 25, the amount of XP you get is more than previously. Just by a bit, though. Mm. <clears throat> just a little bit. AoE gold per hero adjusted. What does this mean? Uh, gold, AoE gold per kill? Per hero kill? Mm, I guess so. Plus 6 times level, plus 5 times level. Th this is kind of normal, I guess. It kind of balances out because you, you get uh, levels a lot easier than previously. Okay. So they have to nerf it a bit. Uh, what's the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Like, heroes in the vicinity, is it? Yeah, I would guess so. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, no, uh, 5 heroes, 20 plus 1 times level. That's not a lot of gold at all. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, uh, we can look at the backpack now. Oh, that's actually a really big nerf, huh? For the AoE gold? Yeah, from 3 times level to 1 times level. Yeah. <laughs> Rip supports. <laughs> Rip! <laughs> Okay, uh, I can check out the new backpack, which is actually pretty cool, and when I played, I've, I've used the backpack quite a bit. Uh, nice slotter. Yeah, so, and I've seen some pro players when they stream also, they have like, like, really, um, situational items in their backpack. They will hold like a shadow blade in their inventory, then they use it, then they put it into the backpack to switch out for more of their core items, just to get the extra initiate on them. Well, that's kind of like, you know, like the Naga running around with a, a BKB and a something in the career. Yeah, yeah. And it's pretty cool. Putting on song and then BKBing and then... Yep. But um, it, it really has to be a lot of like clutch timing because every time you swap it back and forth, there's a cooldown on the item that you can't use it. Mm, okay. Six seconds when moved from the backpack. Okay. Items like, cool down at only half the rate when they are anywhere except your main inventory. That's actually really cool, you know? Like, a refresher orb in your backpack is going to cool down super fast then. So, use the refresher that you put in your backpack and then it cools down faster. Yeah, I, I would guess so. I haven't really, like, noticed the cooldowns of items in my backpack yet. Because most of the time, I only carry, like, uh, your, you know, your TP scroll or your dust, stuff like that. No, that sounds pretty fucking broken, uh, because Refresher is one of those things where, you know, like, mm -hmm. the Naga will kind of, like, put in their career also, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, anyone who goes beyond 6 slotted can use this backpack very well. Because Refresher is kind of, like, not really a 6 slot item, it's like a half a slot item. Yeah, they just need, they don't care about the regen gives. The past, yeah, it's the active that's really the game changing. Uh. Yeah, and when it comes to, to late game as well, I guess BKB isn't really good for stats either. Oh, for sure, definitely, yeah. Yeah, it's only, what, 10 strength? Yeah, so yeah. BKB could be put in a backpack as well. Uh, what else? Let's see. Uh, refresher, BKB, Shadow Blades. Mm, I think your Boots of Travels will be in your backpack as well. <coughs> mm. Cannot put the following items in your backpack. Gem, Rapier, Blood Sandwiches. Okay, that seems normal. That makes sense. Items can always be moved out of backpack with no inactivity timer when near a shop. Okay. So if you're near a shop, you take out your refresher, there's no 6 seconds cooldown. Alright. Mm, cool. Looks like it. That's, um, once again, it's probably like if, you, if you're being chased and then you want to switch out your item really fast and you have to run towards like the secret shop or the side shop or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Which is cool, you know, you could have your bling dagger in your backpack. Yeah, that is kind of like a dynamic that people need to play into. Yeah. Disassembling item now tries to fill your inventory or backpack first before dropping to the ground. Auto locks them from combining. Use right click to unlock. Alright, this is nothing much. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna save a lot of, save us a lot of awkward <laughs> situations. Yeah. Roshan. Uh, move Roshan to new area near top power up rune spot. Uh, Roshan attack range increased from 128 to 150, armor increased, HP reduced. Okay, so the fact that they increased armor and reduced the HP makes it a lot easier to actually like take Roshan at early levels, especially if you have like you know your offlane Slada or mid TA. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, because 15 armor, honestly, 5 to 15 armor isn't that much, but the 8k HP drop to 5.5k is a huge drop. Mm. Which are HP gains per 4 minutes reduced? Yeah, they, they kind of... The armor gain is increased. Yeah, they only increase the armor and they reduce the HP. Overall, if you count, I think it would be still about the same if you don't have any kind of armor reduction. Yeah. And stuff like that. But I think, like, you could... You, previously, if um, Slala hits level 11, which is, uh yeah, level 11 for a second level in Amplify Damage, you could easily take Rose already. Now, I think um, Slala just needs level 6. 
even though the armor is increased, but the HP drops quite a bit. So you, you get like, you get, it's a really big draw. Yeah, you, you get a Venge, you get a Slada, you could take Roche at like 15 minutes in the game already. 10 15 minutes. Does Modelia work on Roshan? Yes, it does. Oh. Yeah, so that's why it's really, really easy to take Roche now, which, which forces a lot of people to fight around Roche. And the Roche pit is super small. It's like perfect for like a 5 man RP or 5 man black hole, you know? Well, I've not seen the new Roche pit yet. Uh, it's really small. Imagine the, the previous Roche pit, and it's probably two thirds the size right now. Damn. Yeah, and and it's it's so near the lanes, like like you don't have to run all the way like to the previous one. It's just like from mid lane, you take a step to the top oh, up room. There's Roche. Goodbye, Dire Roche advantage. <laughs> all right, Shine added new building type Shrine. Uh, shrines become vulnerable whenever all tier two falls. Each team also has five shrines inside the base. I feel like a lot of people don't realize that they have shrines inside their base when they are defending high ground. It makes it a lot harder to push high ground. Like you don't what are the that. positions of these five shrines? Um, they're scattered around the base, but there's two. At, you know, when you try and push high ground, you there are two common warding spots. Uh huh. Yeah, there's two over there. Then there's three more behind. Ah. Yeah. So it's kind of like one at each rex, and then two at the at the ward spots, huh? Yeah, something like that. Something like that, lah. Mm. Shrine's ability, yeah, and the ability is really strong. It, you get so much regen, and HP for five seconds. And it is not dispellable, it's like a fountain regen. It's like activating a fountain for 5 seconds. Right? Yes, basically. And the heal values increase every minute. Heal values increase every... yeah, exactly. So, mm. it's really good as if the game goes on very long. And the, the best part is trying to grant 150 gold bounty for each player on the team when killed. Well, that's nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. So this really helps like your support catch up to, to a bit of a bit of uh, GPM. Mm. And if if because there are there are two more shrines outside of the base. Yeah, those are like the secret shop or something like that, right? Yeah, one at the secret shop. Um basically they're both near where the bounty rune spawns. Like there's there's new bounty runes ah. So if if the if you chase the opponent into that into their shrine and they just activate it, they can actually stand there and fight you if you don't have the burst the nuke to kill them down before they regen up. Mm. It's like basically you're trying to kill kill someone who who just got cold embraced by a winter wyvern. <laughs> and they they take full that, damage of that course. Usually doesn't doesn't turn out very well. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> All right, runes. Uh, two different categories: power up and bounty. Are still the same. Bounties are no longer in the river, which is good. Power rune spawns only at one. Uh, okay, they do not spawn at the start of the game, so there's no more like really contest for river runes anymore. So now it's kind of like back to like all Dota, is it? Like only one rune spawns at a time. Yes, one power up rune spawns at a time. They have on. to guess, ah. Uh. Yes. Ah, cool. Each of the four jungles now spawn a bounty rune every two minutes, so there are a total of what? One, two, three, four, four yeah. Four. Including at the start of the game, yeah. So you can you can afford to you can take the risk of trying to steal the enemy's bounty rune. But I have played oh. a game whereby we five men went to steal the enemy bounty rune, but the enemy oh. also stole one of ours, so it becomes the same. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. So if you can get three bounty runes at the start, but this good this already. this looks a, I mean this looks a bit more fun than like contesting just two runes. Yeah, yeah. yeah it having is. four spots is a lot of like guessing. Exactly, and and the the fact that they give four for. Bounty runes, I think there's a lot for the roaming support. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I like that they reduced the Grievous Greed bounty rune multiplier. That shit was broken. Qua, qua, qua. <laughs> but I I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna see a roaming alchemist now. They're just gonna skill like Grievous Greed and your stun and then just run around picking up bounty runes and just <laughs> stunning the enemy. <laughs> the ultimate greed play. <laughs> yeah. Bottle now only replenishes two charges when filled with the bounty rune. That's okay, I guess, since there are so many bounty rune spawns. Yeah. Hero auto consume. I mean, they they can't make like four bounty runes spawn every two minutes and like you know still keep the bottle and creepers create the same bonuses. Yeah, it's way too much. Yeah. All right, jungle rework the entire jungle and all connecting routes. Um, the primary jungle for each team now has one ancient, two hard, two medium, and one small. And the secondary jungle has one ancient, one hard, and one medium. So they actually added more neutrals, and then each side has two ancient spawns. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty good. We have an extra, um, what's that? Two hard, two medium, one small. And the secondary jungle has extra medium camp as well. Uh, this actually helps, because I, I was playing 
playing a while ago and then I realized that there's actually it's a lot easier to farm the camps at the same time because they are a lot nearer to each other okay yeah so if you have like a radiance you can actually just pull both of the camps together and kill them at one go okay but this is kind of like a balance right because like I don't really I, actually I don't think I should bring this up now but like isn't the respawn time for for uh, creeps different um I think so you know I don't know if they, they yeah wrote it down uh yeah it's below but we'll get, we'll get to that later i guess yeah terrain layout rework paths we work many ward spots juke paths oh this is you gotta go into games to see most of this actually yeah uh, there's nothing much i can say about it right here but it's just that it, it will take a while to get used to all the new spots and then there are there are a lot of a lot of small paths that that not everyone realizes it yet so we will get juked for sure <laughs> Alright, neutral changes. Neutral spawn. Ah, there we go. Um, yep, 30 seconds, 1, 2, 3, 4, to 30 seconds, 1, 3, 5, 7. Okay. So, yeah, it, it, it spawns a lot longer now. 30 seconds, yeah. 1 minute, and then uh, every 2 minutes after that. So, does this. So, this changes your pull timing. You can't pull every minute, you have to pull every odd minute. Hmm, that's right. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Uh. The uh, dying to neutral creeps now cause your heroes oh. have minimum respawn time of 26. Oh no! <laughs> Rip roaming support! <laughs> no! Uh, 26 seconds this. at your early levels is a lot of time. So. Oh, that sucks ass! <laughs> but it's okay, you see, because uh, you the most of the time that you, you want to go back to base and then you're, you want to suicide to the neutral creeps and then you just TP out, you can actually just use the shrine. Oh, <coughs> Since shrines have a cooldown of 5 minutes, uh, you probably best if you ask your cores if they want to share the shrine and stuff like that. Hmm, okay. Alright, ancients are no longer spell immune. This is okay. Um, but this kind of makes uh, a lot of mid players want to stack ancients more, especially like Thinker and all these kind of things. Yeah. The following abilities do not affect ancients Arcane Orb and Chakram. Okay. Does this even matter? Oh, wait, the neutral spawn time for. They said all this. Does, do they mean ancients as well? Ancients are counted as neutrals, right? Yeah. Yeah, I right. think so. Neutral creeps now have one mana regen. Okay. Mm, okay. Uh, Slam is now third. Oh, it's relevant for Doom only. Relevant for Doom only. Alright, this doesn't matter. New ancients. Wait, why is it relevant for Doom? Uh, because he wants to eat them. He now okay, uh, devour. Okay, we'll get to that later, but devour can, can devour ancients. Okay. At level 25, it's one of his talent okay. trees. Okay. Okay, add a new ancient neutral camp. Mm -hmm. Prowler Acolytes and Prowler Shaman. I've tried fighting these motherfuckers and they are strong as fuck, you know that? <laughs> huh. Like, only if you're a range and you want to kite them, that's when you should kill them. Because, I mean, you can kill them, but you'll probably lose a lot of HP just doing so. So you can okay. see, they have a stacking aura which provides 10% life heal, uh, life steal and HP regen, 10 HP regen. And they have 10 armor. And that's the weak ones. <laughs> also, the two weak ones both have this stacking aura. Yes, yeah, so it's uh, diminishing <laughs> stacking, so yeah. Okay, passive autocast, Prowler Shaman, causes next attack to root the enemy for 2 seconds. Reading 75 DPS. Yeah, cooldown 15 seconds, so they get to root for 2 seconds every 15 seconds. Which does basically 150 damage, preventing movement and dealing. They reworked root as well. Uh, it's somewhere, I have to go figure it out later. They'll probably come out later. And they have an active that can cast Stranger AoE effect, reducing base physical armor by 50% and dealing 200 physical damage. This is... This is just <laughs> fucking crazy, you know that? It lasts six for seconds. 6 seconds, yeah, and it cools down for, at 12 seconds. Oh. Yeah, and you can see the note, right? Both abilities will be used by neutral against enemies if there is a nearby hero. That sounds like it hurts a lot. Yeah, it does. It fucking hurts. And it's it's like a stomp, I think. Yeah, cast treasure AoE around him. They don't have okay. magic resistance, but they have decent armor. Yeah, 11, and 10, 10, then there's that... Okay, the HP regen also from that weird aura. Exactly, then they can reduce your physical armor, they deal damage, and then they can root you. This is a really strong. I, I would like to see a lot of um, players start to incorporate this into their strats. Okay. Like, like now, so many people can control ancients. You know, there's uh, life stealer, there's doom, there's Chen. This will be a very strong high ground push. <coughs> yeah. All right. Other match. 
Yeah. Isn't there, is there any other like neutral that gives you a ability that does like 200 damage? No, like the... I don't think so, right? The Seder nuke is only like, what, 150? Or oh, it could be 200. But this is 200 physical damage. None of the other neutrals have 200 physical damage. Yeah, but this guy reduces his base physical armor, then does the damage, right? Yeah, exactly. So it hurts so much. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, it's, it's, they reduce by a percentage. They don't reduce by like the the actual value. So if the support has two armor, it reduces only one armor. Oh, okay. The best thing it is, it's physical. And now that uh, ancients are no longer spell immune, or even mm-hmm. if they were actually, I I feel like you should dominate this creep uh, with Chen, and then you put it beside Tiny, and he just tosses them onto the enemy, and then you, all the enemies get stomped. <laughs> It's pretty good actually. I will try that soon. <laughs> Alright. No, but this doesn't this doesn't stun, right? This just reduces and deals it damage. Doesn't. Yeah, it reduces and deals damage, but his auto cast is Oh my god. Yeah, uh-huh. it's two seconds too good. It's pretty good, pretty good. I would like to see this being used more often. Like so far I haven't seen anyone actually dominate this in my games to to use it. This is actually a, a really big burst of damage, or seventy five DPS or two seconds and then two hundred damage from the AoE. Yeah, yeah, it is. Well, we'll see it soon I guess. Alright, other map changes. Tier 4 towers now have the same regen as the ancient, which is good. Previously, How do you push high ground now with like shrines and this? Uh, yeah. Previously, tier 4s didn't have any kind of um, yeah, regen. regen at all. And oh yeah, since you're talking about shrines, the, the, the problem with the shrines is that when you're defending high ground, you are, you're surrounded by so many buildings and you want to right click around. If you accidentally right click the shrine, it activates it. Oh. Yeah, if you're near enough, of course. And it's happened to me a couple of times already. It's just that I can't... Because you're so used to having effigies and just your normal buildings that you just right-click. Yeah, you don't really like care about the other buildings around. Yeah. So now you have to position yourself properly so that you don't uh, misclick and then activate the shrine by accident. And then get flamed. Yep. Using TB scroll no longer destroys nearby trees. Around Taos has been adjusted to ensure there isn't a spot that you can get stuck. Okay, that's good. Uh, this is really good because sometimes you want to TP into the fog and then you don't want to let you want to surprise the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's I like nice. This. Glyph cooldown refresh is now granted one second after a tier one dies rather than immediately. This is okay. They increase the vision from ancient buildings to two point six. This is, oh, this is pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh. Reduce effigy building. Wait, 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 this is this is the vision for the ancient. Yes, for the ancient. What is the slash oh day and night, is it? Yeah, day and night. So two point six war. So previously you need to ward up like <laughs> after yeah, all. Yeah, you your own your own after your after your rex goes down. Yeah. <clears throat> so now you kinda can still see all the way until the ramp, I think. Two point six K range. Yeah, it should be until the ramp and maybe a little bit more. Okay. okay, effigy building count from 15 to 5, yeah, because you don't need 15 effigies, <laughs> there's only 5 <laughs> on your team. Adjusted the building positions, effigy buildings increase from 500 to 1000, armor increase, bounty increase. Oh yeah, this is good, they kind of buffed all the effigies, and but they increased the bounty as well, so this is not too bad. Okay. Fixed glyph not affecting, oh, I never knew that was a problem. Damage rescaled from that to that. It's the same average damage, so it doesn't really change much, I guess. Tier yeah. 2, 3, and 4. Alright, Illusions. Illusions now give gold and XP bounties. Nice. RIP! <laughs> Pick your Phantom Lancer now, fuck it. <laughs> 5 plus level gold and XP. Mm. That is not too bad. Level 15 Illusions give 20 gold and XP. This, but. It, I guess it only affects people that create uh, illusions very often that aren't it's so strong. I guess PL will be one of them. Just looking at you, PL. Yeah, it's, it's just his illusions basically because his illusions die the fastest. What a sad, sad. But I think guy. this helps um, a lot of supports. Like, you know, Lion can hex the illusion to instant kill him. Yeah. Yeah, that's like 20 gold right there. And illusions attack damage penalty against buildings increase from thirty percent to fifty percent. Ah, so no more shadow oh. demon disruption and just sending the carries on buildings. I mean, it still does damage, but now that you know, uh, especially tier fours have HP regen, it it helps. Like there's mm. not so much shit going on by just sending illusions and waiting for the game to end. No. Yeah. Attack speed bonuses now work. Oh, that's nice. Raw item bonuses. Because previously, if you actually look closely enough, when someone uses Manta, you can tell which is a real one, which is a fake one, just by the rate of attack that they're doing. Oh, okay. <coughs> uh, 
Magic resistance bonus no longer work. Okay, that's a good. That's good actually. <laughs> yeah. Following auras are now generated by illusions. Heart stopper aura. Oh fuck. <laughs> Precision aura and essence aura. What? <laughs> Precision aura isn't really a problem because it was already a global aura. I guess like if he dies and there's still an illusion, it still lingers on. I guess. Yeah. But essence uh, aura. You just don't stay around for long anyway. So. Yeah, but hard stopper and essence aura is pretty good. Yeah, hard stopper is gonna be. <laughs> yeah, holy shit! Yeah, like, you're thing. You just <laughs> create illusions of of necro and they just send him in. Yeah. <clears throat> Illusions no longer benefit from dragon blood. Ah, oh, I like this. I like this. Previously, if uh, any kind of dragonite just bought mental style, it's so hard to kill his illusions. The following illusions have a constant bounty value rather than fallen. Oh, okay. PL one always gives five XP and five gold. Yeah, I see. <laughs> it's like the normal. One. It's gonna be a bit of a joke. <laughs> yeah, wall of replica gives five gold, five XP as well. Okay, that's not too bad. There we go. Uh, root mechanics now disables the following movement spells. Borrow Strike, Waveform, Blink Strike, Phantom Strike, Relative Rift, Pound, Skewer, Ball Lightning, Timber Chain, Rolling Roller, Icarus Dive, Leap, Poof, and Time Walk. This is really good because previously Root was kind of useless when you can just use a spell to get out of it. Yeah. This really nerfs Storm. Holy shit, Ball Lightning. You can't escape now from Ball Lightning. Ball Lightning, Timber Chain. Yeah, Timber Chain, all this. It, it kind of makes them have to play like it, it forces like basically every every skill that's mentioned here to have to buy a BKB or something like that to get away I think it affects just I think Storm and Timber are really really hurt from this Slark as well um well I guess you can always just dark pack away the root anyway so yeah Leap Icarus Dive yeah holy shit good luck but I mean it's more like that Timber Chain that actually uh, kind of like very um representative of the hero's ability to like Move around. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Alright, dispel mechanics. Standardized dispel mechanics. At least if they are undispellable, dispellable, or dispellable only by strong spells. Basic dispel, mm -hmm. dispel, or strong dispel. No longer dispellable. Soul catcher. Oh, nice. Stampede slow. Recall. Oh, you cannot dispel recall anymore. This is good. Uh, wind run, rocket barrage, howl, and sprint. Okay, this is kind of a buff to all these heroes. I like that they can't dispel Soul Catcher anymore because like good players know how to dispel Soul Catcher when they get hit by it. the extra fifty percent damage. Wait, 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 the following skills are no longer undispellable. It means now oh. they can be dispelled. Oh fuck! Holy yep. shit! Oh man, that yep. sucks. Haha, <laughs> Wind Run. Uh, wind, wind Run is okay. I I really hate that hero anyway. So. <laughs> yep. <laughs> har har. But I don't like that they they did it to recall. I always like to recall. Uh, oh well. Oh, insatiable hunger is no longer dispellable. That's good. Oh, uh, bulldog I mean, is, is gonna a, be really is, happy with this. <laughs> I mean, it's an LT anyway, so yeah. Fix fatal balls going to do damage to you after the buff was dispelled. Okay. Cleave nah, mechanics. Looked. Cleave error is now calculated as a cone in the direction of the attack instead of a circle whose edge starts in front of the attack. Okay, this is good because sometimes, like, if you're standing, like, around the creep, you have to now be standing in the cone of the creep to actually receive damage from the cleave. Yeah. Alright, Battle Fury. Which is what Cleave should kind of kind of be. Yeah. Yeah it is. Let's see. Battle Fury I, I don't know what were the previous values, so Yeah, I, I'm not really clear about Cleave values. Oh, well it's not too bad, I guess. And uh, the Cleave boxes, so Yeah. Alright, other changes. Um max movement speed increase from five two two to five fifty. Okay, it's it's kind of not much. It's not much. I mean, it, it is still a max movement speed. So, the people that benefit from this is like, um, let's see. Wind Run. Um, Surge from Darkseer, I guess. Mm. It is just a little bit more, but um, it's it, it will be really situational whereby that extra, what, 28 movement speed matters. But I mean, if you're w wind running or surging away, then they're not really going to catch you anyway, right? Yeah, exactly. Maybe you catch up and save you like a 0.5 seconds. Time maybe, reduces. maybe, maybe, maybe. Right. Haste rune durations reduce. Okay, not too bad. So they reduce the haste rune. I, I like this because it will force if you are you are roaming support and you see a haste rune, you don't just pick it up immediately. You have to look at your your target and then you have to wait for the correct opportunity because three seconds is a lot. So you actually really have to wait and see like okay uh, now the enemy has crossed a certain point whereby uh, is I can reach him before he actually runs back, under the safety of his tower. 
this is not too bad. Yeah, sometimes these little like three seconds like don't look like much, but actually like really really counts. So. Yeah, it does. All right, uh, turn rate cap increased by fifteen percent. Turn rate ramps up over time as you start turning. The max value that it reaches while you're turning are increased by fifteen percent. I'm not really sure about this. Those are only like kind of like bad rider only. Yeah, thing. only people that that really mess up with your turn rate will be affected by this. Cap increase. Turn rate cap increased by fifteen percent. Turn rate ramps up over time as you start turning. So, so that that doesn't affect like base turn rates, well. Yeah, I guess it doesn't. I guess only when your mm. turn rate is slowed. And okay. You will get to your maximum turn rate, your initial turn rate, when you're turning. So the cap is increased by fifteen percent. It's not too bad. Hmm, All right. Okay. Lane creeps now give fifty percent of exp when denied by neutral spread on thirty five percent. Oh, okay. Mm. So either way, it's the same. It's just that if if your if the fucking neutrals get your lane creeps instead of you getting the last hit, then you don't deserve to be a carry. <laughs> 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 the fuck they, they they have like what forty damage on the lane creep, so you don't really have to worry about it. I mean, okay. Temply remove. This is like losing like losing mid to like shadow friend that shadow fiend that doesn't put points into necromastery. <laughs> or like getting denied by a fucking <laughs> Zeus, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> you don't deserve to win the lane anyway. Yeah. Temporarily remove the following heroes from captains: Necro, Techies, Lycan, and Chien. I guess because there's some changes to them. I want to see? Yeah, the, big big changes. Huh? Yeah, the following abilities no longer destroying projectiles. For a time, true form counts Metamorph and Leap. I like what? This. I like this actually. <laughs> like, uh, although previously all those are like, you you need to have skill to be able to dodge them. Somewhat a little bit of skill. Somewhat. Yeah, like Mirana. Good luck, man. <laughs> I throw a magic missile, you leap away, you still get stunned. Do I quit playing Mirana as of now? <laughs> but um, all these things, I think the the change to Metamorph that you can't destroy. Previously, you have to be a really good player to destroy projectiles with Metamorph. Like Both Metamorph is, and... Um, true form. No, not true form. Uh, the Alchemist one. Um... Oh, is that Chemical Rage? Apparently it's not here, so that means you can still... But Chemical Rage, um, the window for it is a lot smaller than I think the window is... Yeah, yeah, it is, smaller. right? Yeah, it's like 0.25 yeah. seconds. Metamorph has like 0.75, 0.6 seconds. But this right there, True Form also is quite crazy, right? The, the window is even smaller than Chemical Rage, I think. True Form? No, the True Form is a lot bigger because the, the time it takes for him to transform, that's his window and it's really long. Because okay. you know, like he will stop for a moment, then he'll like howl or something. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 so yeah. It is, it is a lot easier. So okay, this one nerfs to these hero. Uh, following abilities now destroy projectile. Test of faith, recall, and morph replicate. This is nice. Uh, oh, replicate, replicate. Big for replicate. Yeah, but then again, most of the time people put replicate to either go in for a kill or to run away. So. Yeah. And well, I, but I mean, I, if I, you're I, trying to escape, like having very, 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 very little health. Yeah, I, I think the thing is, the, the reason for Morph Replicate is some of them put it at base and then they start mm. to Morph up strength and then um, they replicate back to their illusion at base and then they Morph back everything to agility and they have 1 HP and then this just one random projectile from <laughs> someone comes in and it gets the kill. <laughs> I think that's the reason why. Alright, so not too bad. Only projectiles are now destroyed in double. Splinter Blast, Secondary Hit and Soul Assumption. Wait, which one is Soul Assumption? What is the Visage? Ah, okay, okay. Splinter Blast and Soul Assumption. Alright. This is okay, I guess. Um, previously, it was very hard to destroy, and especially Winter Wyvern's one. The following abilities no longer have special rules, restrictions for ancients. Uh, okay. Battle Hunger, Adaptive Strike, Electric Vortex, and Last Word. I'm not sure why you would ever want to use any of these on ancients, except for Battle Hunger, maybe when. I'm not even sure what the rules and restrictions are for these skills. Though. Previously, you couldn't cast them on ancients, I guess. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, maybe you, you want to use Battle Hunger on an ancient when you're running away, or you want to get an extra movement speed. I think that's about it. But for the rest of this, yeah. why would you ever want to Electric Vortex a fucking ancient when it does no damage? The last Word on an ancient. Yeah. Or like, maybe you have some really epic play whereby it's the fucking new Ancient and then you're being chased, you pull the Ancient and then you run away and then the enemy gets rooted by the Ancient? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure that could happen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that could happen. Following abilities now use pseudo-random distribution. Just suppose Craggy- Oh, This Craggy. is the one that is, if it doesn't proc on the first hit, there's a bigger chance on the second hit. Yeah. So on, so forth, right? Craggy. Like, this- this- 
kind of buffs tiny against anyone who has high attack speed, like troll. Sooner or later, you're gonna get stunned for two seconds, and then I'm just gonna walk yeah. away from you, man. I'll turn around and combo you. <laughs> yeah. Syrian Chains and Sand now reveals invisible units. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this yeah. is cool. Yeah, I like this. Because previously, when you just. If you get a very nice uh, side of this Syrian Chains off on like a Ricky, and then he just disappears after a while. Oh, well. The following flying vision abilities are reduced in AoE. Concoction, mm. while access. Oh, vision a bit reduced in AoE. Oh, okay. Spirit impacts, chain frost, sprout. All oh, right. This is just slight AoE, I guess. Yeah, most of them. Yeah, all very slight. Huh? Yeah, most of them are just. But this, mm, how would this help? Following fine vision abilities are reduced in AoE. Uh, yeah, I don't see how this really helps much. Uh, this kind of nerfs a lot of people, <coughs> especially like Pup or you see, it's eight hundred five fifteen. Ah. Uh. Oh, damn! <coughs> yeah, it is. Concoction, crow, crow, Sacred Arrow. Sacred Arrow, this is actually like a buff, you know, so you can actually squeeze between some like range and melee creeps to get a hit on the enemy if they are dumb enough to just stand there. Uh, no, I think it's just for vision only. Oh, for vision, not the actual AoE? Flying vision abilities are reduced in AoE. Yeah, I think it's just vision only. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh, well. Moonglaive no longer gets boosted by spell amp. Please no longer gets boosted. Spell life still does not trigger heal for things that don't receive spell amplification. Ah, okay. okay. Alright. No, I'm just wait, I'm just double checking. Okay, chain frost and sprout and stifling dagger aren't AoE ability, so yeah. I think yeah, it's just vision only. Should be, should be. Alright, um fix the following passages not being disabled by break. Golems, last will, boar's poison, lichens. Basically, all these are just uh, no, summons. One hero. Yeah. <coughs> Alright, next. 